Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. I am on here today to show you how you can add in your own fonts on your iPad very, very easily, and you can have just unlimited options like you used to on your desktop. So it is super, super easy to do, and we are going to dive right into it. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of our new videos and that like button if you enjoy this video. It helps our channel out so much, and we are gonna get right into this. So one of the places that I really like to download free fonts is dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. Um, and you can see that's where I'm at. This is the home page. There are several different places that you can download fonts from. And always remember that these are free for personal use. So if you're actually going to be making something that you're going to be selling, then you have to get a commercial license for it. Um, but I am showing you today how you can download these on your iPad for free and for your personal use. Okay, so you're gonna go to dafont.com and you're gonna scroll through and find a font that you like. They have lots of sections and categories for you to really narrow down your search. Um, one of the things that I really like that you can do is say you really like this. We're gonna click on various over here and then you can type in your text like font and then hit enter, enter or go. Okay, so now you can see how it came up with font and it will actually write the word that you wrote in the preview and show you exactly what that word is going to look like in all of these different fonts, which is really cool, especially if you're trying to find a really certain look and you need to find it with a special word. Like if you're doing wedding invitations and you want the S to look very, very pretty with all these long tails or curves or curls, you can just type in the name and then see exactly what it's going to look like with that font. So I really, really like that option. Okay, so I really like this yellow rabbit font. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna hit download. And it's gonna say, do you want to download yellowrabbit.zip? And you're gonna hit download. And you're gonna see this kind of light up with the arrow pointing down and it's downloaded to your download folder. So from there, you're gonna open the app files. So it looks like this little file. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> And then you're gonna hit downloads over here in left hand side, the downloads folder. And you can see this is the only thing in my downloads folder, which is a miracle. Anyways, um, you're going to click on that and it is going to just unzip right away. Then you're gonna click on the blue folder and you're going to see there's a license request and there is a showing you exactly what the font looks like. And then it says yellow rabbit personal use dot OTF. So there's like three different file types that are actual font files, but the ones that just show up blank for you to not be able to read just right out of the box, that is your font file. So from here, you have to have an app that allows you to put this font onto your iPad to be able to use across all of your applications. That app that I use is called, and I'm gonna interrupt this video to remind you to subscribe and hit that bell button. I am giving you all this good information, so be sure to show me some love and hit that bell button below. We really appreciate it, and let's get back to the video any font. So it's green, has two A's on it. We are going to click on any font and we are going to install more our own fonts. So down here at the bottom, it says install own font. We're going to click on that and then we're going to hit this plus icon right in the middle. And then we're going to click on iCloud drive because that's where we saved it to. And we're going to go back to downloads. And then we're gonna click on the blue folder that we unzipped and then click on this file. And it is going to open. And if we look down here at the bottom, it says yellow rabbit personal use. So we're gonna click on that. And then it's going to come up with this screen here and we're gonna tap the button to install. And then this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? You hit allow and then you hit close. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to our settings icon. So we are going to get out of this and hit settings. And then over here to the left, it says profile downloaded. So we're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna click on install, yellow rabbit personal use font. So we're gonna hit install. And then we're going to hit next and install, install profile, install. It wants you to hit like install, okay, yes, like 10 million times done and then now it is available on your iPad to use and to show you um, how you can start using this you can go to pages and we can start a new file here okay we clicked on a new file in pages and then we are going to type in um, this is an awesome font okay 
And then we're going to highlight all of that, go up to the little paintbrush, and then click on font. And we are looking for yellow rabbit, which is right here at the bottom. Click on that, and then we need to make it bigger because it is way too small. Here, let's see what it looks like. And this should be available in a lot of your programs on your iPad. Anything that's going to be drawn from your font um, fonts on your iPad, it will bring up this font. And then you have a really cool new font for you to play with and make your own personal thing. So hope you enjoyed this video. It is super, super easy to do. And I hope that was helpful. Be sure to leave a comment below or give us a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to comment and hit that bell button. So you will know whenever we upload a new video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.